Hello everybody out there in internet land. Patrick Redford here. This is the um, infamous, which is a horrible word infamous. to use. I prefer almost famous. Almost famous, <laughs> which is what most people think of this means, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Look it up. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith Fields. Hi. And uh, this is his first experience with this, and I thought I'd share it with you live on camera. Thank you very much indeed. Fun. Um, you can shuffle these if you want, but unless you trust my shuffle. Oh, I trust your shuffle. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm not. Here's what I'd like you to do, um, and, and be very, very protective over this. You're going to cut the pack anywhere you'd like. Mm -hmm. Have a sneaky peek at the top card and be protective over that. I don't want you to think that I can get somehow a glance of it, and I'll turn around while I do it. And just to be extra sneaky, bury it somewhere in the middle so I can't see what that is. Okay. And to be extra, extra sneaky, because I don't want you to think that somehow I can see the, the backs of the cards or somehow, I mean, you could shuffle them if you want, but the, the order of the cards. Anything you like, whatever. Just throw them back in the pack so nobody can see anything at all. Fair? Yep. Completely fair. Actually, I'll let, you, can, you, can, you can play that game. I'll turn this way. So again, go ahead and give them a cut anywhere you like. Yep. Have a sneaky peek at the top card. Right. Bury that somewhere in the center. Just yep. take it off the top, throw it in the center somewhere, and just yep. put them back in the box. And with the boxes. I don't know how to be any more fair than that. In fact, if we had a whole audience here, which we don't, we just have lots of books and dead guys, really, which is kind of like an audience, we could do this several times and the deck could actually be passed around the room to several people. But this is what we have, this is what we get. But are you happy that I couldn't possibly know anything about your card, or where it is, or what it is? We can't get any more fair than that. I can't think of any way at this moment in time. I want you to lie to me. Okay. I want you to name in any, case, I can think of loads of any other card besides the one you just looked at. And any remember, any other card, out loud right now. The Four of Clubs. Four of Clubs. People tend to think in opposites. By that, I mean you just named a black card, you probably looked at a red card. You also said a club, which is a rounder suit, so you probably looked at a heart, which is the other rounder suit. You also said a four, which is a number card, so you probably looked at a, uh, a number card, but not the four, that's too obvious. How am I doing so far? <laughs> You're freaking me out. Freaking you out. Uh, so <laughs> would that mean right on or pretty close? Uh, yeah, very, very, very close. And by that you mean right on? Yeah, it couldn't have been more. Well, that's good. I like to know where I stand. <laughs> yeah. So it's not rocket science, but from that one question, we've narrowed it down to one of nine things. Yes. So look right here. Don't say anything. Just listen and try to pull it out of your head the rest of the way. Try to give nothing away. Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five. You're a hard one now. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, seven, seven. It's a seven, seven of hearts. Seven of hearts? What was it? <laughs> seven of hearts. And you can keep those, those are for you. My present to you. I should never open this pack again. That was freaky. Look, I dropped the cards in short. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very glad yeah. I'm actually going to be on camera when you come to describing how this is done. 